So, next topic. How are we with time? I don't know. Okay. Oh, I'll check later. Um, the default uh, merge strategy in Git is the one that you want 95% of the times, maybe 98% of the times. But uh, merging different lines of code is a really powerful capability, and Git has uh, five plus different ways to do merges. And then, uh, just to give you a sense of what it means to use different merge strategies, I'll walk you through one example, plus mentioning another one and how you could use it. So, just uh, to bring everyone along, if you're not really familiar with you know, Git concepts, What's a merge? A merge is a way to, yeah, the animation got broken. It's a way to reconcile changes that have been made on two different streams of development, on two different branches. And what typically Git uses is, a, is an algorithm called a three-way merge, where it climbs up the ancestry of, uh, you know, uh, the, the ancestors of the two competing lines of development, does the diffs, and tries, tries to understand what the two developers wanted to do and if it can do, you know, weave the changes, merge the changes for you. And a lot of the times uh, that works because uh, Git is very precise about understanding which lines were changed um, in the two different lines of development. Sometimes when it doesn't work, you need to resolve a conflict. So that's the basic, uh, that's the basic of what a merge is. Uh, the truth is that Git uses a strategy. Maybe you have a list of strategies? Yeah. I'll get to that. First, I want to tell you, literally at the low level, what is a merge in Git? If you have a commit object, which you know has a as a as an identification that identifies the tree, so the file system tree that 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 this com com commit is referring to, and the author and the committer, and but it's a commit. It's a very simple commit that uh, instead of having one parent, it has two parents. So that's the only distinction between a normal commit and uh, a merge commit. A merge commit has two parents. Uh, next. Yeah, so is there's five steps in this, but I just wanted them to show them all. Okay. So Git has, as I, I told you, five, right? So I got it right. It's five different merge strategies that you can use um, while solving conflicts, while merging different, li different, different lines of development. And you can even pass in your own uh, script, your own strategy, if you have, uh, um, you know, if you modeled your code base in a way that's, uh, that, for example, imagine you have a, uh, you know, shape file for a 3D model. You could write a merge strategy that could move different parts of a 3D model uh, inside when you do git merge. This is something possible. It's not something that many people do, but you can write your own merge strategy. The default one that uh, you probably use daily and it uh, covers 99% of the scenarios is called recursive, which is a three-way merge. Um, uh, uh, three-way merge, it's just uh, look it up on Wikipedia. There's a long explanation about what a three-way merge is. The difference is that it climbs up when it cannot tell what, what the common ancestors of, a, of, a, of two branches are. It climbs up the ancestry tree and, and creates a common, common ancestor itself. So you don't really need to know uh, uh, too many details, just the default will do. But for the sake of this, you know, power users, show you advanced techniques. I want to show you uh, a merging strategy that you might, might use one day, and it's the hours merge strategy. So if first I tell you what it does, and then I will tell you why you want to use it. It's a very peculiar merge strategy that does this. Imagine you have a feature, and you have a master branch, and you want to uh, ignore any commit that's incoming from that feature branch, but still record a merge. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, the trick is that this allows you to basically make the two feature branch uh, ancestor. Of it. So this final merge commit becomes ancestor uh, has an ancestor in both branches. And this is useful for a scenario that now I will show you. So remember, this merge strategy records a merge that doesn't use the, anything of the code that comes in from the feature branch. So this strategy is one of the ways that you can use to, for example, 
promote a more recent branch to be your master without disrupting anybody's work. So imagine that you, um, um, yeah, you have a master which is your stable branch. Every uh, your team has been working on the new fancy branch for a while, and after a while you become so happy that everybody's working on this new fancy branch, and nobody wants to work on master anymore. And but you'd like to use master as a name. So, and is there a way to make uh, you know this new branch? Master? Yes, there is. And you, one of the ways to do it is to use this uh, hours strategy. And this is what I want to show you. So, and we'll actually do it visually. I'll also show you some of source tree to see. You know. Okay, so uh, as you probably have guessed, I have a branch called Fresh Start. So, if I check out Fresh Start. So, remember. Just uh, go back to master. So master has a few commits. It has a few files called episode the dash and a name. But uh, you know, developers in this project didn't like this naming convention. Just wanted to start fresh, rename all the files, and 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 start fresh with just completely new naming conventions. So they created a branch called the fresh start. Fresh start. Fresh start instead contains, yeah, numbers at the, at the front of the names so that, uh, you know, you can see an order on screen very easily. Now, the list of commits of this branch is very short because I have rebased and squashed all the commits down to one, renamed all the files. I want to start fresh. Now I want all my <coughs> colleagues to have the state of my project as it is in this branch without having them having to repool and, and, and you know, clone everything again. I just want to make master this as it is right now. So let me show you how this looks on source tree. Uh, in, any of you guys know no source tree? You already know? Ah, lots of hands. Cool. You make me proud. So, uh, so this is a view of the, of, in this case, of master branch, as you see with all the commits. And you can see that there's uh, all those files have those names. And if I go to the fresh start one, there's only two commits, and I've renamed all those files. Now, what I want to make is I want to make this fresh start, uh, you know, relative, and you know, ha have a common ancestor with master, but don't take any changes from master. Keep everything as I have here, and then I can merge this branch back to master, and it will fast forward and convert master into this. If you don't believe me, we're going to do it live. So, <laughs> let's see. So if I'm gonna do, I'm going to do git merge, find strategy, ours, master. So I'm trying to merge master onto this branch using the strategy hours. That means merge master here, no problem, but keep everything all the all the the work my, my the state of my project exactly as it is now. I don't want any incoming change. All right, do it. Just take the default. Now, if I look at the commits, you can see that uh, I have the entire history of the project in here, and I have uh, uh, a merge that kept everything up to this point exactly as I want it. So if I look in source tree, so you can see now my my fresh start commits has a whole and now I have as a common ancestor and I did this merge where I didn't get any of the changes here. So now fresh start and master have a common ancestor and can be fast forward. So now if I go to back to master and I do merge fresh start Ah, first I show you the before. Folder in, in master is the old one, you can see. And if I do merge, fresh start, magic will happen. Ah, everything has been renamed to the new version. The history is still linear, and all my colleagues will get the new version. We call it master, and we can go on. We have promoted fresh start to master without disrupting anybody's work. This is uh, an example of a merge strategy.
that's different than the normal one and it can help you with um, um, uh, with um, you know some of these uh, workflows for example this was one just to, if you guys are not familiar what a fast forward merge is uh, I have a slide for it that comes from you know uh, I have slides for all scenarios so what a fast forward merge is when um, the only changes that have been committed on top of a, uh, on top of a uh, in a feature branch are are only so uh, the extra commits that you have on top of master are only the ones in that specific branch uh, feature branch that you're adding. Just to show show you the animation for this. Uh, so because there's no conflict, Git can just replay the commits, fast forward the commits on top of master, and it just needs to, it just needs to move the head you know, the head ref to the, to the latest commit in the feature branch. And that's what we did with the hours merge strategy. We tricked Git into thinking it could just fast forward our fresh start uh, that way. Uh, in general, I don't like fast forward merges too much. Uh, they, you lose a bit of information, but in this specific scenario, that's exactly what we wanted. Ah, sorry, I can proceed now. So there you go. There's another uh, example strategy that I want to tell you about just to give you a sense of, of the different things you can do with, uh, with them. And that is the octopus merge. So recently uh, on our blog, I don't know how many of you know, we have a developer blog that started the last November, just focused on development uh, content for, the, for developers within the Atlassian ecosystem and also more generic general stuff, uh, development stuff. Um, we have a blog that where we use Git to and Markdown to you know write content, review content, pull requests to review content, and each of us works uh, in their own feature branches. So when we're writing our articles, uh, each of us has a as a feature branch, opens a pull request, and we go through reviews. But we want uh, you know on our staging server to publish all of those branches. It's a staging server where all our temporary and unpublished articles we would like them to appear. So for that, uh, we have been using very successfully an octopus merge, which allows you to merge uh, more than one branch together. So we basically merge all the unpublished articles onto our staging server using an oct octopus merge. And there's a few caveats on, on tricks on what to do. So if you want to know more, go and check out that article. And for the octopus merge is, is used very uh, a lot for, you know, testing scenarios um, and build servers that sometimes it's uh, integration um, tests can be uh, you know more pleasurable if uh, if you use a octopus merge strategy 